Hello there. Hello. This is day 16 Linux Upskill Challenge. And today we're going to learn about archive files. Archiving is the process of getting data and storing somewhere else, basically. The utility that we use in Linux to do that is called TAR, that came literally from tape archiving. Usually when you're going to store something for later use, we don't want to waste much space for that. So compressing usually comes along with archiving using tools like gzip, zip, bzip2. There's a lot of zips there. This is where you zip it! You can compress a file even if you're not going to store that somewhere else, but archiving and compressing are two different process. They usually come together, but they are different. Zip. The purpose of compressing a file is to reduce its size. So if I check my big file here, you're gonna see that it does have 2.7 megabytes. If I want to compress that, we're using gzip and I check that again. You see that we transform that big file into something like bigfile.com. GZ for this is the extension used for gzip and we reduce it from 2.7 meg to 304k it's a lot of compression it depends on the nature of the file and the type of compression that you're using but the general idea of compressing is to reduce the size of a file when you're archiving a bunch of files you probably want to compress that and if i want to uncompress that G unzip and we're back to 2.7. So all that is to introduce us to the concept of tarballs. So I have four different files here with different sizes and I want to create an uh, archiving for that. So I can just create an archive with tar C for create, F for file. I'm going to spec specify a file archive dot tar and I want to include big file and file 1, file 2 and file 3. Okay, we created an archive tar. You see the size of the file is pretty much what we expect the sum of all the files inside of it. If I want to see if they are really inside my, my tar file, I can use tar, t for table of contents, v for verbose, F for file, and I use here my archive tar, and those are the files inside. So when I just doing the archiving part, it's not going to automatically com compress. I have to give this instruction to tar. So tar create z for zip compress. Use the uh, regular compression that is the gzip f for file dot tar.gz big file and all the other files here and here we are compressed archive is much smaller than the archive itself we have the same files there but here i use it a compression to make it smaller so basically when i want to do a backup or i just want to archive some files elsewhere i can use tar and i use compression feature to make it smaller so i have more space for this now let's say that I want to extract the contents of my file into another directory. So I want to tar, I don't want to use C, the C is for create, I want to extract, X for extract, verbose, so I can see, and the file is the compressed archive, and I want it to be dash C on my folder. So if I check inside my folder, here we got, we extracted files. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.